Hello, everybody. Let me ask you a question. What if I told you you have been lied to? You would say, well, yeah, of course I've been lied to. But what if I told you you're paying people to lie to you every month or every year? And you're like, who am I paying to lie to me? Well, listen, if you have money in the market, if you have a retirement fund, if you're paying so-called professionals to manage money for you, guess what? You've been lied to, and I'm going to show you in this video exactly how you've been lied to and what you can do about it. All right, so if that's interesting to you, let's go. Hello, hello, everybody. It is Jeremy Whaley here from Trade Maestro. You can find me over at TradeMaestro.com. Hope you're doing fantastic. Got another great video for you that I think is going to be very eye-opening. Uh, I, I know the first time I saw this information, it blew my mind. Kind of, well, I say it blew my mind. I knew it was true. I just didn't know how true it was until I started looking at the data. So in this video, I'm going to share with you what I'm calling the truth about professional money managers. And like I say, this is gonna blow your mind, especially if you have money in the market and you're not managing it. Now, if you're managing your, your own assets, then this may not apply to you. But if you're like most people, there's over 100 million equity accounts in the United States. Most of them are under so-called professional fund management, meaning other people are managing them. So if you've got retirement money, if you've got, maybe it's not retirement money, maybe it's just you've given your money over to some professionals and you said, here, you're gonna be my money manager. And if you're like most people, you're paying them to manage your money. And uh, that's the norm. So that's what we're gonna talk about. We're talking about how you've been lied to here. But before I do that, I wanna welcome all of you who are joining me from Dr. Scott Young's channel. Uh, earlier in the week, Scott and I made an agreement and he has my blessing and my permission to push a lot of this content and some of these videos out to his channel. He's got a great following over there. So if you're over on, on Scott's channel, uh, welcome. And uh, thank you for letting me come in and offer some content for this channel as well. And if you'd like, you can check me out over at uh, my website, trademystore.com. Here, I'll put that back up here. Uh, I think I will. Let's try it again. There we go. Trademystore.com. And you can also find me on YouTube at Trade Maestro. And for those of you who are on my YouTube channel or on my mailing list and you're seeing these videos, uh, I would highly encourage you to go check out Scott. Uh, it's Dr. Scott Young over on YouTube. And for those of you that are really interested in the new financial system and the quantum financial system and specifically Nasara and some of the stuff that's uh, happening and it's in the process, uh, go check it out because Scott does some excellent, excellent training on that. And uh, frankly, he's probably certainly one of the top, uh, maybe two, maybe three, most educated on the subject, probably the top most educated. So go check out the stuff that Scott's doing. All right, folks, uh, like I say, you've been lied to. So let me break this down and show you how you have been lied to. Um, who's been lied to? Well, if you've been told that you can't manage your own money, that's one of the ways that you have been lied to. You can't manage your own money. How many of you have heard that your whole life? Yeah, you don't want to do that. You don't want to manage your retirement money. You could lose it. What you should do is you should trust a professional. And then you're told that the professional is better than you because they've spent their entire lifetime learning how to manage your money. You spent your lifetime making your money. The professional spent their lifetime learning how to manage your money. You know the old saying, maybe you haven't heard it, but Wall Street's the only place that uh, people will drive up in a Rolls Royce to give money to somebody who took the subway and trust them to manage it? Yeah. All right, well, true statement. Um, so you've been lied to because you were told you couldn't manage your own money, you were told you should trust the professionals, you were told that your professionals are better, and you were probably told that you can't make money in a bear market and all sorts of other lies. How many of you were told you can't make money if the market is going down? Well, I'm gonna show you that that's not true. Uh, here's the truth, folks. The truth is professional money managers actually aren't that good, in fact, I'm gonna say it this way, professional money managers, managers, on average, they suck, they're horrible, okay? And to boot, they normally charge you 2% a year to manage your money. Now, let me put that into perspective, 2% a year. Think about your retirement account. How big is your retirement account? If you've got $100,000 in your retirement account, 2% means they're charging you $2,000 a year to manage your retirement account. Okay, so you're paying somebody, if they're, if they're going to do the results that I'm about to share with you, 
You're paying somebody $2,000 a year for every hundred grand you have in your retirement. You're paying somebody $2,000 a year to lie to you. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. I mean, that's like that bites, right? Like right in the old tushy, like, ooh, really? What if you have a $500,000 retirement account? What if you had a million dollars under management and you're paying 2%? For every million dollars you have under management, you're paying $20,000 a year to somebody to basically lie to you. You say, well, how are they lying to me, Jeremy? So glad you asked that question. How about I show you some cold, hard facts? Boom, boom, boom. I want to introduce you, if you've never seen it before, to a study called the SPIVA study. S-P-I-V-A. SPIVA is right here. Oh, that pen color is horrible. Forgive me. You know, if I'm on a black background, the yellow pen looks great. If I'm on a white background, got to change the color. All right, so this is SPIVA. You can find this at SBC, excuse me, not SBC. Forget that. SB, ah, I can't speak tonight. SP, as in poor, because <laughs> it's standard and pours. The spglobal.com is the address for that. spglobal.com, or easier, just Google SPIVA. If you just Google SPIVA, you will find this. And what this is, let me just kind of explain this to you. This is a study that SP, the that S&P does every year. And they actually do it twice a year. This is the mid-year update that I'm about to share with you. But uh, they do it every year to compare how professional fund managers, per, mund, professional fund managers or money managers, how they perform relative to the S&P 500 or relative to the other S&P indices. So that's what this study is. And they've done it for many, many years. Sadly, the results don't get any better. All right, so I'm gonna just scroll down here. You can come play with this on your own, uh, but I'm just gonna read this to you. Let's go to one year. This is kind of a nice little interactive tool. And what this says, if you can't read it, because the words might be a little small, 55% of funds under perform the S&P 500 over a one-year period of time. What? 55. Okay, that was not very dramatic at all. 55% of funds, professionally managed mutual funds and other funds, underperform. That means that they don't do as good as the S&P 500. They don't, they don't match the benchmark. They don't even get up to the benchmark. And the benchmark's not that great. It's just the S&P, right? 55% over one year cannot match the benchmark. So put that in perspective. The other 45 match the benchmark. Oh, okay. So we're about half. Half of funds match the benchmark. 45% match the benchmark. 55% do not. Must be, get better over time, right? Because every time you've talked to your fund managers, what do they say? They say, well, you're going you to want to leave your money with us for a while. We need at least five-year commitment, maybe 10 or 15 years to really get the performance that you're going to want. Great. You're totally right. So let's do, I bet over time it gets better, right? Well, let's, let's just take this out to five years. We'll click on the little tab that says five years. And what? Okay. Over five years, over five years, 84% of funds underperform the S&P 500. <gasps> I need my best home alone. Are you kidding me? Over five years, 84% of so-called professional funds underperform the market. You would be better off to just buy the S&P 500 and leave it alone. And you would beat 84% of the so-called professionals. That means 15%, a little bit less than 16% of funds actually hit their benchmark, the S&P 500 benchmark, okay? Interesting. Well, does it get better over time? Well, let's check it out. 10 years, it gets worse, 90%. 90% underperform over 10 years. 15 years, let's do that one quickly. 15 years, it actually gets slightly better, just oh, oh, oh so ever slightly better. But you know, here's the one. So uh, years ago when I started looking at this, I thought, actually they didn't used to display it this way. They used to make it a little bit more clear. And then they kind of started obfusc obfuscate, hiding, obfuscate. Is that a real word? I think it's a real word. They started hiding the data 
So it wasn't as, they didn't, so people couldn't see how bad it really is. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how bad it really is. I'm gonna show you how to find it too. Come over to the website here. And when you scroll down just a little bit more, just below this nice little infographic, you're gonna see where it says view more fund categories. And there's a little plus sign. You're gonna click on that. And you guys are all gonna do this yourself. You're gonna go to spglobal.com or just Google Spiva. And you're gonna see this data here. And at first, you're not gonna believe me. You're gonna be like, no, Jeremy, they told us the right data. But I'm gonna tell you, scroll down, scroll down until you see this option for download full report right here. And when you click on download full report, it's gonna download the full PDF report to your computer. And then you're gonna click on that PDF and it's gonna bring this page up right here. This is the actual report, folks. This is the whole thing. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you can read as much as you want. It's like 100 pages and you're gonna scroll down to page number seven. And when you get to page number seven, you're gonna see this data. And are you ready for this? Look right here, all large cap funds, S&P 500 is the comparison index. Year to date, 51% have matched it. One year, 55%, three year, 85, five years, 84, 10 years, 90. Look at this, 20 years. They didn't even put this one on the homepage. Why? Because it was too revealing, 95%. 95 percent of so-called professional fund managers cannot match or beat the S&P 500. 95 percent. Actually, it's 95.22 percent are failures. That means if you want to beat the market, if you want to hire a so-called professional to beat the market, forget beating the market. If you want to hire a so-called professional to match the market just to do as good as the market does you got to find a top five percent fund manager now most of you if you have a hundred thousand dollars or three hundred thousand dollars in your retirement account you're not going to attract a top five percent fund manager because frankly top five percent fund managers they're not interested in your hundred thousand dollars they're interested in the person that's going to give them 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 million dollars to manage. That's why they're managing billions of dollars. And most fund managers, they just don't have that kind of money to work with because frankly, they're in the bottom 95%. But they're happy to take your 2% management fee every year. This particular fund, this particular study that I'm looking at here is just for large cap funds. This is just against the S&P 500. You can download this report. You can look at it yourself. You're going to find that some funds do slightly better, but all of them are, for so-called professional fund managers, they're abysmal results. They're horrible. It's so bad that, in my opinion, it should be criminal. It should be criminal for them to take your 2% and give you that kind of a performance. So I'm going to give you for free. You don't even have to pay me 2%. I'm going to give you a game plan. I'm going to call this how to beat the pros. And right now it's really appropriate. It's really important that you understand this because markets are crashing. And if you're like most people, you didn't talk to your fund managers and get out of the market. Most people, um, they've been riding the market down and they're down 20 or 25% or more, depending on what kind of funds they're in. Uh, most people are down substantially. I've got one client that's down over 40% because she didn't get out of the market when I told her to. And she's been trusting the people that are managing her money. And yep, yep, now she's down 40% year to date, okay? Um, there's many people that are worse than that. Many pe most people are about 20, 25% from where they started this year. And you didn't have to be, okay? I've been warning people all year, been doing videos on this. And yet most people, because they believe the lie that you didn't have what you took, what it took on your own, they didn't want to question the so-called professionals. You got to question, folks. You got to question the professionals. And if they're not willing to move your money where it needs to go at the right time, they need to be fired. You're looking for top five percenters. If you're going to trust somebody, if you're going to pay them 2% to manage your money, you need a top five percenter and you, you should not settle for anything less. So let me tell you how you can beat the pros and anybody can do this. And here's how it works. Number one, use exchange traded funds. For years, for decades, they have told you that the mutual fund is the best tool to beat the market. A mutual fund, if you're not familiar with the concept, a mutual fund is basically where you pull your money together with a whole bunch of other people and you buy a whole bunch of stocks. And then as the stocks go up, then the fund goes up and you make money with it. Okay, it's called a mutual fund. Um, there are a large cap mutual fund is what we just looked at. A large cap mutual fund is supposed to match or beat the S&P 500. And as you've seen, 95% of them cannot do that. 
Okay. If you have a retirement account, you go open up your little portfolio disclosure, whatever they call that thing. You go look at your account statements and somewhere in there, it's going to say what your allocation is. And if one of your allocations is large cap fund or something to that nature, you probably have a bottom 95% performer, but I'm going to show you how to beat them right now. Here's how you do it. If you want to beat the pro, all you have to do is use an exchange traded fund. I, I failed to explain that one. So you're familiar with mutual funds because I just talked about it. What an exchange traded fund is, is an exchange traded fund is basically like a mutual fund. It's a fund that holds a whole bunch of stocks, but instead of trading it as a fund with all the regulation and limitations that come into it as a mutual fund, instead of trading it that way, you can buy and sell it on the exchange just like a regular stock. That means any old Joe Schmo, anybody, Bob, anybody named Bob, uh, can go to TD Ameritrade, you can go to Fidelity, you can go to Schwab, whoever your broker is, or you can open your own broker and you can buy an exchange traded fund on your own. And here's the crazy thing, most of them today cost zero because most of your brokers are not charging commissions to buy an ETF, an exchange traded fund. Doesn't cost you 2%, it costs you zero. Way more effective than a mutual fund. All right, now you say, well, which ones do I buy? Here's the, stack. the next thing you wanna do. You're gonna to wanna to use the SPY. SPY is the ticker symbol. And what SPY is, is it's an exchange traded fund that mimics the S&P 500 exactly. Listen, if all you do is take your money and buy SPY, I can guarantee you, you will match the S&P 500 and you will instantly beat 95% of the fund managers, because as you've already seen, 95% of the fund managers cannot match the S&P 500. So you would be better off than 95% of the fund managers. Literally, that's the statistic, 95%. You'd be better off than 95% of the fund managers if all you did was manage your own money and put the money in SPY. That might sound scary to you, but it shouldn't be. Look at your statements. Are you outperforming the market? Have you outperformed all these years? If you have, great. Maybe you have. Maybe you've got a top five percenter. I don't know. If you have it, SPY. You can do it yourself, and it costs you for the most part zero. Maybe a little commission here and there. It just depends on who you're trading with. All right. Here's the next point. The next thing you need to do is learn to manage. Well, before I move to the the management part, let me just say this: If all you did is what I talk about right here, if all you do is buy SPY, you are going to beat ninety five percent of the of the fund managers because they can't match the fund. And if you buy SPY, you're matching it. You're matching the S&P, period. There it is, okay? Now, how can we beat it? Here's how we beat it. You learn a very basic system of risk on or risk off, and you're gonna use that with SPY. What does risk on, risk off mean? It just simply says whenever the market is going up, you're gonna take the risk and you're gonna enter into the market with SPY. And when the market is going down, you're gonna get out of the market and you're gonna take the risk off the table. Now, you might be sitting here, you might have listened to some more of the lies which told you you couldn't time the market. Well, that's a bold-faced lie. And I'd be happy to take on anybody who says you can't time the market because I can basically just flat out prove them wrong. You can time the market, and we've been doing it for years, and lots of people have been doing it for years. In fact, if you couldn't, you really wouldn't have a market. But that's beside the point here. The point is you absolutely can time the market and using some very, very basic systems and very basic tools, you can know when to get into the market and when to get out, when to take the risk, and when you should take the risk off the table. For example, in November of 2021, last year, November 2021, I started telling my customers to look at taking their risk off the table. And then in January, and then early February specifically, we started saying, okay, we've entered it officially into a bear market, and you should get out. That was in February of 2022, is the year we're in now. That was in February 2022, and if you're paying attention to the media, it's September right now, and they are finally saying 20% later, oh, we're, we're in a bear market. Well, we knew that. We knew that back in January because the tools, the systems told us that it was time to take the risk off the table, okay? So it doesn't have to be complicated, but you got you to gotta put some action into it. All right. Now, would you like a little bit of bonus? I have a bonus idea I want to share with you. Did you know that you can actually make money when the market's going down? And it can be as simple as making money when the market's going up. No, there's, there's no way you can do that, Jeremy. Yep, yes, you can. And you do it the exact same way. We just change the tool. 
If you know the market's going up, you buy SPY. If you know the market's going down, we're going to buy an ETF, an exchange traded fund called SDS. That's the ticker symbol. And what this is, is it's an inverse it's an inverse fund. It's inverse for the S&P 500. So again, we're just trading the S&P. All we're doing is trading the S&P 500. But when the market is going down, we're going to move the money over to, or at least a portion of it, over to SDS. And now as the market goes down, this fund is actually going to go up. So you can do this in your retirement money. You can do this in your IRA. You can do this in your 401k. You just simply buy ticker symbol SDS. And when the market's going down, you buy SDS. And when the market turns and it's going up, you buy SPY. And then when it goes down, you buy SDS. And then when it goes up, you buy SPY. And guess what? You actually have the ability to profit when everybody else is in a panic. Wow. And you're not having to get involved with the stock options. You're not getting involved with shorting the market. All you're doing is buying two, two different funds. And basically, the strategy goes like this. If the risk on... Um, signals are there, then you're going to buy SPY. If the risk off signals are there, you go back to cash. And if the bear market signals are there, then you buy SDS. And then when the signals are gone, you go back to cash and you just rotate your money. That's it. Two funds, SPY, SDS, SPY for a bull market, SDS for a bear market. You can do it in your IRA. You can do it in your 401k. And how much does it cost you? Zero. It might cost you a little bit of a commission depending on who your who your broker is. Okay. So let me recap all of this for you. And this will give you guys a lot of confidence as this bear market is roaring. You don't have to be discouraged. There's a lot of opportunity out there. First recap, you've been lied to. Okay. I think you've seen that now. Fund managers stink, right? The pros are not that great. 95% of them cannot match the benchmark. You can do better. You absolutely can. And you can even make a profit when the market is going down. Wow. What do you think? Am I telling you the truth? Have you really been lied to? Go ahead and make a comment down below, wherever you're watching this. Make a comment. Have you been lied to? And if you have been lied to, and if you've bought into the lie, then the best thing to do is to say, no more. I'm not going to buy into it anymore. And get control of your retirement. Get control of your your investments, if you're doing paper assets, get in control of that. Obviously, uh, real estate and business investments, that's a little bit different. Um, but when it comes to paper assets, stocks in particular, which is where most people's retirement money is, um, get control of it, folks. Don't just trust the professionals because they said it was just because they said they were better. doesn't mean they're better. Okay. And just because they told you that you can't make money when the market goes down, it doesn't mean that you can't. The truth is you absolutely can make money when the market goes down. And right now we're making lots of money because the market's going down really, really fast. Okay. But you got to know how to do that. So if you want to learn some more, what do you need to do? Well, go visit me over at trademaestro.com. If you haven't done that already, subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is YouTube slash trade maestro. And uh, if you're on Telegram, you want to follow me over there, just um, do a little search for J dubs nuggets and uh, stay tuned. That's all I can say. Stay tuned because there's a lot more of this to come and uh, there's a lot more where this came from. So again, if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, be sure to do that here. If you're watching me over on Dr. Scott's channel, then you'll have to, uh, hopefully he'll put the link down below. But if he doesn't, then just uh, YouTube slash Trade Maestro. And uh, those of you who are watching here, look, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel at this point, you just watch this whole video, you need to hit the subscribe button right now because otherwise you're crazy. You got to hit the subscribe button. All right. All right. I hope you guys have enjoyed this and uh, got a lot more stuff coming very soon. Markets are crazy. There's so much cool stuff going on. So make sure you subscribe and I look forward to talking to you soon. Until then, happy trading to all of you. We'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.